Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a new tobacco review. This one is uh, Hearth and Homes Berry Nice. I'd like to remind everyone, these are for adults. Seriously, I'm not making these videos for kids to watch and think it's cool to go smoke. So please don't. It's not good for you. So anyway, today yeah, we're talking about the, uh, the Hearth and Home. Okay, I think I originally said Hearth and someone corrected me. It's Hearth and Home um, Berry Nice, okay? Now Hearth and Home, it was basically pipesandcigars.com, it's their brand. All right, they also offer this, this is a 1.5 ounce tin, which they're selling for $10.29. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box directly to it, but they also offer this uh, smoke or this blend in bulk, which is cheaper. All right, so, uh, you know, I always recommend getting a small amount first, in case you don't like it, but uh, if you do end up getting this and like it, or if you, it sounds like you really want it, uh, you're better off buying it in bulk because it's cheaper instead of buying like, you know, five or six of these tins. It just doesn't make sense to pay more money to do that. But anyway, let's take a look at the uh, tin here. They're all pretty much the same labels, which is pretty cool. Shows a nice little uh, pipe in the front, some fireplace in the background, very cozy looking. Each one gives a little description of the pipe tobacco itself. See, net weight, 1.5 ounces. Distributed by uh, Habana Premium Cigar Club. Habana Premium Cigar is also their brand, pipesandcigars.com. And they all read the same thing here. It says, uh, Hearth and Home Pipe Tobaccos are hand blended from some of the finest tobaccos available and proudly made in the USA. Uh, we have a blend for almost every taste and enjoy your comments and feedback. Send your input to me at, and then of course there's their info. And that's a message from Russ, the blender. Now I can tell you that yes, this is an all-American blend, okay? A lot of the tin tobaccos you see me do reviews on and stuff and trying, most of them are from Denmark. Uh, some of them are from Germany. They're, they're all around the world. Those tin tobaccos are, uh, are all over the place, okay? This is an all-American blend. So if you're one of those people who really, really like the idea of just keeping your money in the U.S., of course, I'm talking to U.S. viewers, uh, you like supporting the United States and the economy here, and you want to find a good you know, American blend, this is definitely a, a way to go. They have a huge variety of different uh, types of smokes too. But today I'm just talking about the Berry Nice. So we break into this, this is a sealed can originally, has the you know, easy pop top, like I said in the other videos, but I break into these all early to let it mellow just a second, not a second, but let it mellow a couple days, you know, so it's not as strong. Wow, um, <laughs> when you take the lid off of this one, you know it, my, you know, I got about, I don't know, seven inches from the camera here and another foot from my face and I smell it. I smell it nice and strong. Ugh, an amazing, amazing berry scent comes off of this. All right, so what are we looking at? We're looking at very, very dark tobacco. Okay, this is only one type of tobacco. It's Green River Toasted Black Cavendish. Okay, so this is not a mix of Burleys and Virginias and all kinds of stuff. This is uh, definitely, first of all, it's an aromatic. Whether you didn't pick up on that or not yet, it's definitely an aromatic. And it's comprised solely on good, high quality black Cavendish. Okay, now what they do with this is, this is fl uh, flu cured, okay? But during the flavor, the flavoring process, they steam on the essence of wild berries, black currants, and blackberries. All right, so this tobacco is steamed with all this, uh, this kind of scent or flavoring. So it's really interesting. It actually goes into the tobacco itself. It's absorbed through the steaming process and that's basically your topping. But instead of just mixing it in with, you know, syrups and sugars and so forth sprinkled on, you know, it's actually steamed into it. Pretty cool. Nice consistency. It's moist out of the uh, the thing here, but when you can do a little uh, pinch test, I, I didn't do a video on this before in the past, but I've seen other people do this and I think it's a great way to, to um, you know, assess the moisture level of your tobacco. But you take it out, you pinch it together. Let me get a little, my lid here so I don't make a mess. Give it a good hard pinch as hard as you can and then drop it onto a table. What you want to happen is you want exactly what happened. All right, your little clump should kind of stay together a little bit, but not completely. You want it to start falling apart again once you manipulate it, okay? That means, first of all, it's not too wet. If your tobacco is too wet, you squeeze it together, it's gonna just stick in one ball. Okay, that's way too wet, too moist, okay? But if it doesn't clump whatsoever and it seems brittle and actually breaks down almost to like powder, then obviously it's way too dry. So that's it, quick little uh, pinch test to see if it's moist enough, and, but not too moist, and this is perfect, right out of the tin. 
So um, anyway, that's pretty much it on this one. Uh, Mommy, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, it's nighttime. This is the reason that <laughs> the last couple tobacco reviews you did not see me, at least smoking. Um, mainly because I like to smoke after dinner. It's calm, I'm settling in for the night, I got a full belly. You know, a stronger tobacco may not upset my stomach or make me feel woozy or anything like that. It's something to just go outside and relax and enjoy. Okay, it's not to be rushed. <clears throat> Put my flashlight on my face so you can kind of see me. Yeah, so this is why you didn't see it the last couple times. But there's been so much request and demand to see me actually smoking while I'm talking about it. So here you go. Um, I'm not going to keep the flashlight on me all the time, but so you know, I am here. I'm about to try the Berenas and the hardware for the video. Let me do this. Let me kind of angle it like this. There we go. And kind of, kind of show you. Anyway, it's my uh, rusticated um, bent billiard by Peterson's. And it has the P-lip on it, which some people absolutely can't stand and some people love. And I'll talk more about that when I do the review of this pipe. But um, this is my first pipe purchase. My second pipe I've owned, but my first purchase. There we go. All right, I'm gonna do the charring light here. I have some matches, and I'll kind of set this up so you can kind of see me as I'm doing this. Actually, a lighter would have been better choice because I have to hold this flashlight. But anyway, you'll see this uh, portion of the lighting and uh, I'll talk about the initial taste after I char it up and get it going, all right? Oh, that gives you... It gives you some light. Actually, you can see that cherry going pretty good. All right. I think it's pointless to watch me smoke a pipe in the dark, you know. Plus, you know, honestly, I don't necessarily want a camera on me when I'm enjoying my pipe, to be completely honest with you. But, a lot of you guys wanted to see it, so. All right, I'm gonna tamp this a little bit and see if I need a relight. Yeah, we'll do a little relight to get it really going and then I'll tell you my initial uh, opinion. All right, it's going going really good now. All right, let's see. What do I feel initially? Wow. As I was taking my second draw <laughs> before, or not while I was taking it, but as I'm like opening my mouth to put the uh, you know the bit in there, like right at this point, I smelled a little waft uh, that's coming off the uh, out of the bowl there. That you know just what would be considered the room note, even though I'm not in a room. That's just what the tobacco smells like burning out of the bowl. And wow, was that really, really good. Um, it doesn't smell tobacco-ish at all. It smells like a really good berry scent. Um, actually, you know what, let me just get a little waft here. It smells like, uh, man. It smells nothing like it does out of the, of the canister. The canister had a perfumey type, um, almost a chemically, you know, berry scent. This has a, a much different scent. Oh, it's really good. It, 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 it smells like, like rich berry cheesecake. 
just just really like creamy and thick and definitely definitely a sweet nose almost smells like like a, some kind of baked goods really really pleasant so that's nice but the review is not for the people standing in the room with you while you're smoking they will certainly enjoy it you kind of want to know what it tastes like don't you <laughs> so here's my initial impressions let me let me kind of puff on it and get to know it a little bit It's actually got flavor though. Yay for flavor between Caramel Rush and this. I mean, this tastes stronger than Caramel Rush. Um, so finally, yippee, an aromatic that actually tastes like something. Very happy about that. Um, it's good. It, let me, you know what, it's got a little something extra to it though. It's not just like smoking berries, you know what I mean? You get a, uh, a tobacco flavor on this, but the tobacco is definitely in the background. Whatever kind of casings they use for flavoring on this one, it, it's doing its job because it, it's the, the star of the show. It's, the, it's in the forefront. It's on the, the front of the stage, you know. The tobacco is the, you know, the kid with the glasses doing the lighting work, <laughs> you know. The, uh, the berries and all the, the flavors that are, it's supposed to taste like is definitely the star, uh, you know, up front. But it's got a little something extra in there. I don't know what it is. A little something that's uh, I don't know. It's not as pleasant. I, I can't put my finger on it. I suppose I could put my finger on it, but then I burn my finger, wouldn't I? All right. Sorry. The light shining in my face is annoying. <laughs> you have to deal with uh, the man from the shadows. Um. I got it. It's um, it's a little bit like uh, soapy, like hand soap. So it kind of it kind of has the flavor of, or it kind of tastes kind of similar to how a a berry scented hand soap would smell. Does that make sense? I mean, it's good, but it's not a hundred percent good. It's about like ninety percent. Wow, that's that's pretty darn good. And then a little bit of something. It's it's on the aftertaste, you know. Yeah, something that's just kind of lingering around that's not quite, not quite awesome. But uh, overall, at least just, by the way, it's smoking great. And that first light was fine. Still going good. Um, I'm going to give it a little rest for a minute here and kind of take in the flavors and, and see what's up. Yeah, there's just a little bit of a soapiness to it um, on the aftertaste. All right guys, finishing up this review inside because my battery power thing was flashing and I didn't want it to die down on me halfway through talking. Plus it was getting pretty cold out there. So um, yeah, very nice. Um, my conclusion is it's a very good aromatic. Uh, it smoked beautifully, um, never heated up. And on some points there while smoking it, I was heavily smoking it. I mean, I was kind of puffing to try to, you know, get the real flavor and get an idea of what it is, you know thick rich smoke was pouring out it never got hot in my mouth at all the pipe never got hot it smoked it's the coolest smoking aromatic i've ever had to date whereas this aromatic uh, is a quality cavendish okay that's enhanced it is heavily cased though i can't tell you that this is and as i mentioned in you know while smoking the star here is not the tobacco the star is the casing okay it's the berries it's, it's all those flavors that are coming out that you're looking for not necessarily the cavendish but when you do get a hit of that Cavendish, it's very pleasant, okay? So it's a quality tobacco. Um, smoked beautifully, like I said, the entire time. Uh, minimal relights on it. It was a great consistency right out of the can. Not too wet, not too dry. Um, uh, good flavor. The strongest, the strongest tasting aromatic that I had to date. However, the caveat to that is that in with that taste was mixed in a tiny bit of that soapiness, which was not, it wasn't that pleasant. It wasn't like, oh, I got a mouthful of soap. It's not like that, but um, it definitely was present. You know, it's not something you would forget about. It's like, oh, that's a really good berry. And then you know, a little bit of soapy, you know, it's kind of like if you're drinking 
juice out of a cup and you're like, oh, I love this juice. And then you swallow and you go, you go, oh man, ugh, I didn't wash this after I, you know, or after I washed it, I didn't run water through it. It has a little bit of soapiness to it. That's kind of what I got from this. But overall, it was very good. Now between the two, it's one of my favorite two aromatics so far. I got lots to try, but between this and Caramel Rush, Caramel Rush would be just slightly above only because it lacked that soapiness, but it also lacked the, the strength of flavor that this has. This is actually a strong tasting aromatic that does not burn your mouth. That's hard to find, okay? That is a rarity within itself. So if you happen to like berry flavors, now, when I first, it's kind of strange because when I first started smoking it, it was predominantly the uh, blueberries, you know, with a mix of something else going on. I couldn't really get a hold of the other flavors. And then as, as it progressed, the berry uh, taste was less blueberries and more like blackberries, you know, and, and just a different type of berry. It didn't go through a rainbow of berries. It wasn't like some awesome trip of flavors, you know, but definitely started strong blueberry and kind of towards the tail end went to a different type of berry, more like a blackberry raspberry type deal. Um, the smoke itself was, uh, it was sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet. You know, some people don't like really sweet, um, you know, Cavendishes and so forth. I didn't find that was a, an issue at all. Um, it did leave uh, a mouthfeel that was thicker and richer, kind of like an English, which is uh, very unique to me. I've never had that in an aromatic. Um, so basically what this comes down to is if you're new to smoking, well, first of all, if, if you're not new to smoking, if you've been smoking a pipe for a long time, uh, you kind of have an understanding of what it should be. And it's pretty much everything that you would expect from a high quality um, aromatic. But for someone who's new to smoking, this will beat anything that you're going to find at your local tobacconist as far as cheap name brands and possibly your house blends. Now, I can't possibly tell you how good your house blends are. That's basically your smoke shop, the guy or girl or, you know, husband, wife, team, whoever owns that shop, they mix and match and flavor their own tobaccos, you know, that's the house blends. Uh, I've tried three different places that are by me and all three places have their own house blends and they're all horrible. They're typical American style aromatics, too heavily cased. They burn extremely hot. They lack flavor. And most of the time it's to cover up cheap tobacco. There's a big difference between having a quality aromatic and a cheap aromatic. On a cheap aromatic, you don't want to taste the tobacco. You want to cover that up with the flavor. You know, if you have a cherry Cavendish, you don't want to taste that cheap Cavendish. You want to taste the cherry. So you just load it up with cherry liqueur and, you know, cherry syrup and all that crap. Uh, that's not the case here. It's a quality Cavendish. And every now and then you do get a hit of that actual tobacco flavor, which is very pleasant. So highly recommended. If I have to do like a thumbs up, thumbs down, there's no question. Thumbs up. Uh, as far as how up, <laughs> how high, it's up there. Like Caramel Rush, um, they're two different, completely different flavors. But, um, I would definitely, definitely smoke this again. In fact, um, whatever's left in this tin will eventually be smoked. It's, it's very good. I really like it. So anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. As always, please enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.